I'd like to talk to you a little bit about cricopharyngeal muscle dysfunction. Now the cricopharyngeal muscle is situated in the low portion of the neck and basically is the upper esophageal sphincter. The muscle at the top of the food pipe or the swallowing tube at the bottom of the throat. And this muscle, which is normally closed and tense, helps prevent you from swallowing food and saliva into the airway, or so-called aspiration. Now, not uncommonly, this muscle might dysfunction for various reasons. And patients can present with swallowing difficulty, cough with eating, a sensation of a lump or tightness in the throat, wet sounding voice, coughing and gurgling, and a variety of other symptoms that might be quite concerning. Now, these conditions might result from an injury to the throat, prior radiation, a growth, a tumor, neuromuscular dysfunction, and a variety of other possibilities. So if one has symptoms such as those, I would suggest contacting your ear, nose, and throat specialist and have a diagnostic examination, which is a clinical examination, including potentially an evaluation of the back of the nose and throat area down to the vocal cords, the so-called larynx, the voice box, using a flexible fiber optic little telescope to better evaluate that area. In addition, your ear, nose, and throat physician might order an x-ray, a swallowing study called the barium esophagram, for example, and there are various other diagnostic studies that might help identify a problem with the cricopharyngeal muscle. If the muscle is not functioning well because of tightness or stricture or narrowing, there are procedures that can dilate the muscle, open it up and improve function. There are medications that one can use. If there's a neuromuscular problem causing the tightness and dysfunction, Botox injections can be helpful, along with other surgical interventions like a muscle incision to relax the muscle and facilitate improved swallowing. So it's a not uncommon problem. It can be quite concerning. It's easily diagnosed by your ear, nose, and throat specialist. And more importantly, it's very treatable. So I would encourage you to visit enthealth.org, which is a wonderful resource replete with diagnoses, conditions, complaints, treatment options, et cetera, related to a plethora of ear, nose, and throat conditions. And at the same time, find an ENT button will help you locate an ENT specialist close to you to help address these concerns and issues.